Back here in Oklahoma City, law enforcement regularly train for any and every event that could cause mass casualties. News 9 crime tracker Jennifer Pierce is live at police headquarters with that story. Jen. Okara police who have been around for a while say that the Columbine shooting was the turning point for how they respond to mass shootings. For Metro agencies, that training happens regularly. Last summer, Metro law enforcement and first responders took over the halls of Putnam City High School in War Acres. The scenario, an active shooter inside the school. Unfortunately, in today's climate, it's all too real, and they made this scene as lifelike as possible. Armed suspect has entered the school. His last thing going into the teacher break room. On the south side of the Metro, more police spent a week running drills at an elementary. We're not immune from from instances where we can have mass casualties. So we recognize uh, an inherent responsibility on our part to get together to train to be best prepared to serve the community. And while we're here training at a school environment, we recognize that mass casualty events can happen anywhere. In Oklahoma City, they call it reality based training and it takes place year round with less lethal weapons. The experience can translate to situations an officer may face every day or an active shooter. So the reality based training unit was created to put officers through those real-time scenarios just like they're going to see out in the field and, and make them work through these problems so that when they get something similar, uh, when they're out at work, it's not going to be an unknown to them. Even if a mass casualty event isn't man-made but weather-related, officers and other emergency responders must still be prepared. Okay, we're at 12, 2, 12, uh, South Oak Grove Drive. we got an injured person. He's immobile. Okay, see, police officials say they do have a mutual aid agreement with Metro agencies. So they say if there were to be an active shooter, the public would see a very large presence. Reporting live at police headquarters, Jennifer Pierce, Oklahoma's own News 9.